name is Howard Ryan. I'm one of the co-owners at Harris Menby San Francisco on 9th Avenue. Um, do you have a philosophy about the food you serve to customers? Yeah. Um, I guess it's, it's, it's weird for me to speak for the whole group. I have a personal philosophy of food and then kind of a philosophy that we all have as a group, as a business, um, which are pretty much the same thing. I guess we want to be able to, um, number one, be a good member of the community, but also supply um, a product that is affordable and nutritious um, and as organic as we possibly can. So that's both? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I guess maybe if I were doing my own food business, maybe I'd have meat, you know, maybe I'd be doing different things. Here, our, our, our basic uh, tenet is that we're vegetarian. Um, we have some vegan items, we have some gluten-free items, but there's never any meat in the house, and that's something we're pretty strict about. Many of us eat it at home, but we don't serve here. Um, what does working a worker-owned cooperative mean to you? Well, I've been a baker for a long time, like longer than you guys have been alive. So that's a huge deal, right? Like I've seen the baking industry and how exploitative it is and how top down as far as hierarchy goes. Like, you know, one person's getting pretty rich off of a successful business and the people that are working under them are barely making it, paying rent and, and you know, hardly able to save money or pay for benefits or anything like that. And I've managed bakeries in the past. I used to live in Minneapolis and I managed a few bakeries there. And you can make a decent living as a manager of a bakery, but absorbing all of that responsibility to one person kind of can make you a little crazy. Um, we see a lot of uh, alcoholism and addiction issues and stress in this industry. And that's a big part of it because hierarchy just really means that the, the top person is absorbing a lot of responsibilities and that's a lot of stress. That's the big thing for me here is that, um, like I say, like I've been baking for a long time and my family and extended friends would be like, wow, you've been baking for a long time, why don't you own your own bakery? And I would laugh and they wouldn't even understand what I'm laughing about. I'm like, I wouldn't, like, I'll manage it. I wouldn't want to, like, take this job home with me every night and have nightmares because of this or that. So this is ideal in that way, right? Like, even when I started here, when we first opened, there was about 12 of us. Now there's about twice that many. And it means that we can, um, that everybody can absorb all of that responsibility. We have a financial committee, we have a hiring committee, we have a development a product committee, and that way you can do what you're interested in. So, on your website, you guys put up a different pizza every single day. Is mm -hmm. that like, do you guys come together to like make that decision about that? No, that's one of the committees I'm talking about. Like, there's one committee, I guess we can call them a committee, it's pretty much just two people, that keep an eye on um, seasonal vegetables, uh, prices of cheeses, and the popularity of the previous pizzas, and try to come up with a new schedule every month. So we're not like Tuesday's pizza is this, or the second Tuesday of the month pizza is this. It's always different. We have a pizza that's a triple mushroom with a sesame ginger garlic vinaigrette. It's by far and away our, our most popular pizza, so you might see that one a little bit more frequently than the others, but it's changing all the time. Um, where do your ingredients come from? All over the place. We try to buy locally as much as possible. Um, we have a few different produce vendors and a few different other type of vendors, but um, try to keep them more... Like, we've got one person that will start delivering us tomatoes here pretty soon this season, and she's an old customer that moved up and started her own farm up north. She delivers tomatoes down here just for us, basically. That's the kind of relationship we would like with the grower, right? More like a farmer's market relationship where it's not a produce vendor who's buying from the farmer and then charging more because they're bringing it to us. If we can buy right from the farmer, that's ideal.